What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. Today I've got a story time for you guys that's pretty cringe inducing. It's about the time one of our teachers made a diss track on us, her class, to like teach us a lesson. Only it backfired and we started making fun of her more when the entire point was to show us that we shouldn't make fun of her because she could roast us with rhymes. Yeah, it's about as cringe as it sounds. Regardless Regardless, guys, I figured you'd enjoy it, but before we get into it, be sure to press the like button or no joke, no scam whatsoever. You will be haunted by the ghost of Abraham Lincoln, and every night before you go to bed, he'll go, Four score and seven years ago, your mom was still a hoe. So press the like button or that'll happen, and without further ado, let's get into it. On Discord to celebrate. <coughs> it's, 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 okay, it's not good. Nice rack and her ass Brazilian just turned 21, but my bank's a million. Swear I'm a little drunk, but it's a hell of a feeling. All right, guys, we've all had a teacher that's like trying really, really, really hard to be relatable. And while usually it's endearing and that makes me appreciate the teacher for taking the time to even try to bother to be liked by the kids, sometimes teachers just don't realize that what they're doing to try to look cool is just making everybody hate their class. In one year, I had this English teacher and she was one of those teachers, dude. Like, she would do these really cool things where kids with A's could, you know, skip class on Friday and hang out with her. And she thought it would make everybody work harder, but then only teacher's pets would get good grades. You picking up what I'm putting down? Like, she had the right spirit, but everything she did was just really off the mark when it came to actually getting kids to enjoy her class. And especially after the whole Friday drama where she basically was giving good grades to all the kids who would kiss her butt in order to let them kind of get a free day on Friday, whereas everybody else still had to work. She had gotten fed up with our class and our disrespect or whatever and decided that she was going to make a diss track on us in order to get us to see her point of view. And listen, man, uh, I just feel like diss tracks in general are not a very good way to get someone to see your point of view. Like, a diss track is a good way to start some beef for sure. It's a good way to get them to dislike you more. Like, I don't know what this lady was thinking, oh, it seems like all my students hate me. I know, I will make a song insulting all of them. So one day, dude, in the middle of class, she's like, I've been working on something since I know everybody has this weird tension in the air. And all of us are kind of like, Ugh, okay, I guess, you know what I mean? And she's like, all right, I've been working on it, and I want you all to know that after this, we can still be cool. And you know, like the way teachers do it, where they're like, yeah, that's right. I you guys are gonna get to be my friend. I'm gonna be friends with my students, you poor little piss babies that are so pathetic. You're right, usually you would not be able to be friends with someone as cool as me, your English teacher, but in this specific case, I'll make an exception after you listen to my song where I insult all of you. And it opens up, dude, and it's like her in a sideways hat, and uh, I, I remember the lyrics pretty clearly. I'm gonna do my best impersonation, all right? I'm not saying that my teacher voice is gonna be the best, but I really will try. Hey, it's your teacher in your class is whack. You guys are breaking my back. I try to be a cool teacher. Now you listen, I'm the preacher. You guys suck, it is true. You make me yell till my face is blue. And listen, dude, I get it. I understand that being a teacher has to be very frustrating. I really do. I'm not saying that they have an easy job, and I, I can't imagine how annoying it is to be a teacher, okay? That being said, this is the worst possible thing you could do. Obviously, the entire class starts laughing at her because, like, what the hell is this, bro? You want us to listen to you, so you made a diss track. And at that point, everybody was still kind of like, look, this is embarrassing, it's funny, but it wasn't making anybody mad yet. Do you know what I mean? She hadn't started going in on individual kids, and that's when the diss track took a turn, bro. Like, look, you want to make a diss track on your class? That's totally okay. I guess it's kind of funny. It's a quirky way to be like, ah ha ha, see kids, I too also like things that you guys like. But, you know, when you start to just insult people in a song as a teacher, it's not okay. Yeah, we were misbehaving. We're the children. You're the teacher. You can't just insult people. So the next verse of the song is pretty brutal, dude. I'm gonna change the names a little bit, but you get it. Mariah always whines about her homework. That's why her mom and dad's marriage didn't work. If you think you're slick, don't ask Brandon because his 
face is greasy, no abandon. She was going in on these kids, bro. Like, she mentioned that one of their parents got divorced. She made fun of another kid's acne. And, like, I'm all for roasting, okay? But there are certain things that you just shouldn't roast on. Stuff that people can't change or stuff you know people would be sensitive about. Like, I feel like as a teacher, making a joke about a kid's divorce is never okay. But, hey, nah, this teacher was out here sending it, bro. Screw Brandon and his acne, right? Like, God damn, bro. Imagine how insecure that has to make you. Just not okay, especially as a teacher. If you're gonna make fun of somebody, it's gotta be for something that they, like, choose to do or could change, you know? Making fun of somebody because they choose to wear, like, wooden clog shoes in the year 2020, that's funny. That's okay, because it's like, why are you wearing wooden shoes? They could just not. You can't be flaming this lady's, or this kid's, uh, parents getting divorced. She would be a lady now. You guys get the idea. Like, imagine that. Hey, honey, we're getting divorced. I'm really sorry. It's gonna be very traumatic for you, and, uh, one of your teachers may eventually make a diss track on it. It's just gonna be reality. I don't know what to tell you. If you suck, it's cause you're in this class, and you never listen. Your work ethic, yeah, it is ass. Oh, yeah, it is true. I hate this class. It is too. My least favorite students are the following. And then she like listed a bunch of kids, bro. It was the most awkward thing I've ever seen. And I really do not know who signed off on this. And what's worse is like during all of this insulting kids and talking about how bad we are as a class, which once again, just a little far as a teacher, you shouldn't do it. There's this music video that's like decently produced, okay? You could tell they put a lot of effort in. I'm not saying that it was a good music video. You can just tell when old people put a lot of effort into the computer, you know? It's got all these, like, iMovie transitions that you could tell she thought was the coolest thing ever. And so everybody is just watching this, getting offended, obviously, because their teacher's insulting them with this, like, uh, music video in the background of her trying to act cool. And the music video ends, and she's like, so what did you guys think? And obviously the class uh, it was willing to let her know what they thought and was pretty open about it because, like, hey, if you're gonna make a diss track on me, then I'm allowed to be open with my feelings about the diss track, right? If YouTube has taught me anything, you're allowed to react to diss tracks about you. KSI's made like 90 videos on it for a reason. Alright guys, I'm gonna interrupt the video just for a second. On screen now is a PlayStation gift card. I actually give away a gift card away every day as a way to say thank you to everybody who's subscribed with those notifications on. So if that's you, thank you. I really appreciate it. If you're not already, you might as well hit that button and turn on notifications. I guess like 80 percent of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed or have notifications on so you might as well turn them on okay it's free you can always unsub and i literally give away money so you got nothing to lose not to mention i'm putting out the content out here okay regardless huge huge thank you to everybody who is subscribed y'all mean the world to me and i'll shut up now and get back to the story bye so the class is obviously not happy and a couple of the more vocal kids start like roasting her immediately asking her like who she thinks she is One one lady called her MC old and that she needed to shut up, which really isn't that good now, okay? But considering my age at the time, I was like, oh yeah, that was that was okay. So obviously the class starts flaming her and she's like, are you guys kidding me? Like, this is me trying to connect with you. And one of the girls in the class who was a little bit smarter at the time than everybody else is like, I don't know how you expected to connect with us by insulting us. Like, did you really think that any of us were gonna take this well? And everybody in the class is like, yeah, like in a agreement with this girl who's pointing out the obvious. Believe it or not, insulting people is not a very good way to get them, like, on your side, dude. I really don't know what she was thinking. There was obviously more than one person involved in the making of this music video, too, so, like, how did they all get on the same page with this? Oh, I know what'll make these kids that disrespect me feel like I respect them and connect with them, and then we can all get along. I'll make a diss track insulting them. Like, I'm not saying that we were the best students ever, okay? But at the same time, we're not the teacher, bro. We're stupid. We're the kids. And I don't feel like making a diss track was ever a very good idea. So then she starts getting defensive because somebody started making fun of, like, the quality of the music video. So she started saying that, like, she actually had her boyfriend help her and he makes music videos. And so then people started flaming her boyfriend, saying that he edited on, like, you know, an iMovie template and he sucked. And then she started getting...
getting defensive of her boyfriend and it's really starting to get out of control at this point all because this lady just like wanted to make a diss track on these kids to show them that she was into the cool hip stuff if you're a teacher and you're watching this I can personally tell you that's not a good idea that's like the equivalent of me trying to get on the same page as everybody subscribed to my channel and then making a music video where I just insult anyone who's subscribed to my channel that's gonna have the exact opposite effect bro like how do you graduate college and become a teacher but not be able to figure that out dude cause and effect is a very easy thing to understand I feel like so because everybody is yelling there's a kids yelling the teacher is yelling another one of the teachers in the neighboring classroom like came over to ask us to shut up and she sticks her head in and just sees all this chaos and is like what's going on and that's when our teacher realizes like that this has gotten out of control so nothing nothing and all the students start explaining that like she had made a diss track on them it was just chaos so the teacher that had made the diss track at that point just backs down and is kind of like nothing because I think she kind of realized that if the principal and other teachers got involved she was definitely going to get in trouble like there really was no way that the deans were ever going to be able to approve of this lady insulting all of her students that was just never going to fly and even though all of us were being rowdy and rambunctious and saying that like she had insulted us and whatnot you know we weren't the best behaved class so no teachers were really uh, incentivized to believe us either it wasn't the first time that some other teachers in the hallway have had to tell us to shut up you know what I mean so she kind of got away with it bro but for the rest of the year the class low-key had beef with her dude nobody really would listen to what she wanted it did not do what she wanted it to do the idea that it was gonna make us feel bonded to her because she was super hip and cool and knew what a diss track was yeah the, the exact opposite effect stick to Pinterest okay it's just really not that complicated something about teachers trying way too hard to relate just oh yeah it just hurts anyways guys that's gonna do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed if you did please be sure to press the like button let me know in the comment section down below what you thought subscribe turn on those notifications I know I got you guys with a double upload bro because the 12 days of scrubs is videos I've already made I figured I still still had to keep up the new content as well. Always on the grind for you guys. If you want more content, I do have a podcast called The Scuffed Cast. Link will be down below along with the link to the intro song. And if you're in the mood for merch, do not forget the Karen Christmas sweater. Link also down below. But yeah, on that note, guys, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully I'll see you guys all next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.